Hello team, welcome back. Welcome to our training. And today we will see how we can stash the untracked files in Git, right? So let's go to some basic definitions of Git stash. So guys, basically when we are executing the Git stash in Git, so by default, Git stash will do following things. It changes that have been added to your index. It means it only changes uh, it will stash the only changes which is in the staged area, right? And we have already discussed about the git staged area and git unstaged area, so there could be no issue, right? And changes made to the files that are currently tracked by git, right? So when we are executing the git stash, then basically the stash will work only for the tracked files, okay? Although they are staged or unstaged, right? The files which is being tracked by the git. Right? By default, it will uh, stays uh, or stash the changes in only in the tracked files. And it will not do any stash operation for the following two options. New files, which is added in your working directory, but is still not staged. Okay? And files that have been ignored. Right? So obviously, if you have some kind of files extension, this is which is present in your uh, dot get ignore right uh, then it will don't stay these files okay and also it will not stay these files which is in your new directory okay which is new file this is basically added in your working directory but it's still not tracked by the git right so let's open the project and we will see how we can tackle it right so first open the terminal over here right and execute the git status so my branch is up to date. There is nothing to change. I will execute git ls. So these are the uh -oh. ls. These are the files which is basically present in my uh, current project directory. But I need to find out the files which is basically uh, tracked by the git. Okay. So I can execute the command git ls hyphen files. So these are the all all these are all the files which is basically tracked by my git. Okay. So over here we have the humans.txt, we have index.html, right? We have dot git ignore. So let's open the dot git ignore. Sublime dot git ignore. So basically this is present in my git ignore so here the test file dot txt right so if i will change anything in the test file dot txt where is my test file dot txt let me find out it okay sublime text or this one one other option asterisk dot log it means there is a one log file access dot log that's the reason when i added the log file in the last lecture that it was not showing in your uh, when i execute the git status because the dot log extension file is being added in my git ignore it means all the files which have the dot log extension ignore them okay don't do anything with them right so these are the files which is basically present in my git ignore so if I will do any change in my access dot log because dot log extension is added in my git ignore. So basically they are ignored. This the git will ignore this file. So if I will do any change in this access dot log file, although this is being tracked, I can see git status, sorry, git ls hyphen files is being expressing this particular file. It is showing this particular file. Why it is showing this particular file? Because in the last after the last lecture, I have added this forcefully, right? But if I will do any change in my, in this access dot log file, so git stash will not track it. And additionally, the file which is not present over here, git stash will also not track that or stash that particular file. Okay. So let's clear the console and take a practical example. So suppose I'm going to modify humans.txt, right? And over here, I mentioned some changes and say adding important notes on git stash. Right? I save it, quit, 
close get a status so it is saying changes not staged to commit modified files human.txt right now what i will do uh, suppose i'm going to add a new file okay i will add a new file so i will say sublime and a new file dot txt right and over here suppose i'm mentioning some comment adding new file and get project this file is still not tracked by get right i close this save it right i will do ls so you can see over here the file which i just created a new file should be present over here yeah a new file txt is present over here right and if i will execute a command get ls files so the same file is not basically showing over here a new file.txt is not showing here because i didn't edit that okay i didn't edit that file in the git so if i will execute the git stash okay it is saying saved working directory and index state wip on master right and after this if i will say get a status wow it is still showing a new file is being added it means what does it mean it means this particular file was not staged by the git because i have done changes in the human.txt as well but this is not present over here the only file what i'm getting after the git status which is a new file and we have seen already in the last lecture git stash will basically save all the files and revert them from the working directory but this particular file is still untracked and present in my working directory then it means git stash basically not containing or not basically identifying or not stashing that particular file so how can we do that right how can we do that this is the question right so we can stash the untracked files by a command git stash hyphen u means untracked press enter it is saying saved working okay list get a stash list c two stashed over here and if i will execute get status then it is saying your branch is up to date right so this way we can basically execute sorry we can stash or the untracked file as well by the hyphen u right now let's see how we can basically uh, stash the files which is present in the git ignore right so open the sublime text and open the access.log because i know log file is not being tracked by the git and over here adding a comment adding git ignored files in git stash right save close quit git status modified access.log file right now how can I access uh, stash it so git stash hyphen a hyphen a means all files okay if you will use hyphen a it will it means all files all files means all files right press and it is saying is test is test logs right get a stash list see there are three tests over here right if i will execute get a status it means get master branch your branch is up to date there is nothing in my working directory right clear now now i'm going to show you some express command to test the changes and apply these changes on your working directory right so in the previous lecture we have seen the git apply and the git drop 
but there was two command now we want to execute all the stashes in a single command so there's a new command get stash pop it means popping it will pop all the stashes okay and include them in your working directory press enter and it is saying on your branch up to date changes not stays to commit right and dropped this one right drop this particular stage so basically it is picking when I am executing the git stash pop it is picking up the last stage okay the last stage and we know very well last stage we have executed for the git log right so it is added over there once I again execute it so it picked the new file txt and access log and you can see the ID is different this ID is different than this is ID right so it is test the next is test right what I have done before the log right if I will execute and dropped it okay it included it in my working directory and dropped it okay in the apply first we need to apply and then drop but it is doing it by itself and if I will execute get a stash list so there could be only one stash present right and I will execute again the pop. See, it is dropped that one as well. 271. Right? So there will clear and execute get a stash list. So there is no more stash. Right? Because I have executed the pop command three times for three different different stashes. Okay. How we can do it in a single command? We will see this in the multi uh, in the coming tutorial, right? In this particular tutorial, we are learning about the untracked files and the ignored files. Now, if I will execute get a status, see, it is saying two file is modified and new file is being added, right? I will say get commit hyphen am and say example get pop, right? execute get a status okay I need to get add I need to execute the git add so that add that vertical file and again execute the commit again right get a status yeah my branch is up to date right now what I need to do, I need to pull my changes, sorry, push my changes, get, push, origin, master, right, and it will push all the changes that I have done in my directory on my remote directory, right, again execute the git status and my branch is up to date with my remote directory and there is no more changes. So this is the way guys, this is the way how can basically you track or you stays or uh, stash the untracked files and the ignored files in git in the coming tutorial we will see how we can basically uh, apply the multiple uh, stash in a single command right so thank you guys